Why did May's offer get such a resounding backlash? Yeah, well, there's a couple of things that looked a bit new in it. And one of them is the thing that moved the markets in expectation of her speech yesterday. And that was around offering a second referendum and offering uh, or a vote on a second referendum in Parliament and also offering a temporary customs union. The problem is that nobody seems to be listening really to Theresa May right now. Um, she seems to manage to once again alienate the many sides of the Brexit argument and there do seem to be uh, very many signs uh, around this what is a, a sort of binary split within the UK political scene now around Brexit. Uh, so she seems to have alienated many of them and it just goes to show how difficult it is to find any kind of compromise. People still very entrenched and nobody is listening because there isn't a hard deadline upon us is there there's this isn't October and so we're back to that situation where every everybody seems to be holding out for their best option their favorite option rather than making tough decisions even some of those MPs who'd sort of held their nose and backed her in the third vote have said they won't back her this time around so Labour are not going to back her this time the DUP won't back her and as we've heard many Brexiteers won't back her either Anna, we seem to have shifted gears on how long she can actually last. You and I touched base a short time ago. We looked at the odds tracker. Boris Johnson, some might describe him as mendacious. I think that's what Chris Patton described him as. How did we get here so quickly that she could be toast? Yeah, indeed, it was Chris Patton who used that word to us. Uh, so, yeah, you've, you've got the odds checker on, on screen there, which suggests Boris Johnson very popular yeah. if he makes it with, with the members of the party. And, of course, it, it's all about who makes it into the final two, and that list is narrowed down by MPs in Parliament, which is important to note in terms of the process. But, yeah, we seem to have really upped the pace in talking about how quickly she goes. She had already said she wants to bring her vote back for a fourth time in early June, and once that is done, uh, she was then going to be setting out a time timetable for her departure. Now we understand here at Bloomberg she is under pressure to go a lot sooner. This uh, really raises big questions. If, if it doesn't look as if her deal is going to get through, why bring it at all? And if you're not going to bring the deal at the beginning of June, um, then it is, it, what is the point of Theresa May hanging around? To add extra complication, of course, we have the elections, the European elections taking place in the UK tomorrow. We'll see how the Brexit party does, because if the Conservative Party do as badly as they're predicted to do in the polls, way behind the Brexit party, then that will get many people angry within her party and increase the calls for her to leave. Mm.